went straight into the night journey last night, Al, Al Isra, which so is also one home. of my favorites. Um, I, the, the ayah that popped out to me the most out of this entire surah was 49, um, 49 to 52. And they say mockingly, when we are reduced to bones and ashes, will we really be raised as a new creation? Um, and say, oh, prophet, yes, even if you become stones or iron or whatever you think is harder to bring to life, then they will ask you who will bring us back to life, say, the one who created you the first time. Mm -hmm. That Last night, I stopped reading <laughs> right after I, after I read that passage because that... I thought was so incredibly powerful because the the prophet peace be upon him was basically saying choose anything you could possibly imagine choose the most difficult thing that's what god is capable of and when they were asking for uh proof or, or how this was going to happen the exact way you were even created like how did that happen so mm -hmm. i just wanted your thoughts on that because you you're the way you explain things are just I just loved it. So I, I, I highlighted that on purpose because I could not wait to bring that one to the to the live. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a, to create the to create something the first time. Do you think that that's very difficult for God? For us to 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 make something out of nothing. You know, I mean, like if we have like a block of, you know, if we have like a block. For example, if we're just I me that. Like if we're just going to give an example, if we have like a block of. Uh, wood or a block of rock and we're going to shape it into something for us it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort right that's something mm -hmm. very easy with god right and the only thing that god has to do is to say be and he it is you know what i mean he just speaks it into existence and it happens you know what i mean so something that we might think is very difficult for us to god is yes he to god is very simple it's very easy so what's more difficult to create something out of nothing or to bring something back to life, right? What's more difficult to create a body or to have the body wake up, right? So that's a whole <laughs> word. <laughs> that was a whole word. Okay. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. That was so it's like, okay. cause that's why, you know, sleep is, that's why they say sleep is a little bit brother of death. Right. So and yes, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's this is God's way. I'm just going to put it down. You know, I'm really just going to go based off of, you know, my own what I know, uh, inshallah. So, uh, yeah, it's not difficult for God at all. There's this one beautiful hadith of a man that is cremated. He's never done anything good in his entire life. And he knows God exists and he knows that there's going to be a day of judgment. And he's, he knows he's, he's never done anything good before. So he tells the kids, when I die, I want you to cremate my body. Half of the ashes, I want you to put it in the wilderness, scattered it anywhere in the wilderness. And the other half, spread it in the, in the oceans. That way, there's no way God can bring me back to life. <laughs> that way, I'm not going to have any judgments, and this is it. Of course, judgment day comes, and God gathers this person, his ashes in the wilderness and in the oceans. Like, that's not difficult for God. This is, we're all in his kingdom. We're all in his world. You know, it's nothing, nothing is hard for him, right? So he gathers him, and he brings him back to life, and he says, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Why, why'd you tell them to burn your body, cremate your body, half of it in the wilderness, half of it in the ocean? And he says, oh, God. I knew that I've never done anything good. And I, he's like, I was afraid I, I was afraid of your punishment. I didn't want your punishment. So just the fact that he was so terrified of God's punishment, he knew God exists. He's never done anything before, anything good before. Just because he knew God's mercy, or sorry, just because he knew God's wrath, God enters him into paradise. Oh, that's a good story. <laughs> that is a good story. Which hadith was that? Yeah. Pardon? You said that's from a hadith? That's a hadith, yeah. There's Which lots of hadith that, are, that, that highlight that. There's lots of hadith that highlight that. Now, the reason I don't, I don't want to say too much of these kind of hadith because I don't want people to, I don't want people to use that as a cop out with God. You know what I mean? People sometimes right. they like to, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. But uh, but yeah, no, that is a hadith of the, of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There's another beautiful hadith where a man came mockingly to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he had like dead and decaying bones, right? And in in the desert, like you know, bones are very they're very easy to you know turn into dust. So he's making fun of him, and he's like, "Atazamu ya Muhammad, an Allah." Uh, are, are you seriously claiming that God is going to bring this dead and decaying bones back to life? Right? God responds to him right away. Like, revelation comes down right then. He struck, he's, God is talking about this man that's coming to the Prophet saying, Who's going to bring this dead and decaying bones? Say, O oh Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The one who brought it back to the one who brought it to life the first place. Tell him the one that's gonna bring this dead and decaying bones to life is the one who gave it life in the first place. And he he's all knowledgeable of all life. All of the life, all of the breaths that you and I take, every human being is gonna take, every amount of blood that our our, our heart is pumping, right? How many breaths we take in, how many breaths we take out. Sometimes people, you know, if, if we take a breath in, we don't breathe out, خلاص, that's the end of our life. That's the end of our affair in this in this world. You know what I mean? So,